Well, hello everyone, and welcome along to what is today us finally having a look at these events that came out for the 2024 Taught Like a Pirate Day events. There have also been some rare items added to certain monsters throughout the events, so we will come across these on our travels. Note, they're all down as rare, so when we see them, and if you want them, make sure you go along and pick them up. But anyway, the first map we are starting off at today is Join Pirate Blood Hub. Now, if you're here, this year, one of the things you need to go along and do is the 25%, 50%, and 75% war loot chests. Reason is, every single item in here is rare rarity, and you can just go along, buy them, and pick them up. Within the 50% one, you've also got these two free player pets right down the bottom, so make sure you are going into these shops and grabbing them, because like I say, once these events have gone this year, you will not be able to access any of these shops in the future. So these are by far one of the most important things you need to be going along getting. And that's without mentioning, some of the items have some really cool animations as well. So what's not to like about those ones there? There is also this Blood Pirate War merge shop that you're able to go along and access just in case you do fancy going along and farming yourself this pirate set. Do note, however, that these items are seasonal tags, so these ones in this shop will be returning. So if you are watching this in the distant future of 2025, do not panic, they will be back again. There is also a second merge shop available to us here, and this one is your more typical Voitaire type items. And in that I mean, it is music gear, so if you'd like a new guitar, or indeed some more kind of music themed sets, or at least along that kind of style, then this is the place you can go along and maybe have a look at picking up some AC seasonal gear. And yet again, all of these will be back in the future. It is now time to teleport over to join a pirate lycan, and once you're here, the first thing we're going to be looking at are these pirates that you can see on screen. Pretty much every single monster we're going to be coming across does in fact have item drops, so we need to make sure we're alerting you all to their presence, and as I said, we will mention those rare ones as and when we come across them. In fact, our first one is popping up in just a moment, and it is going to be these Narwhal Slayer weapons. Both the single and dual wheel version are down as rare tags, so that's the first thing that will not be returning in next year's event. Next up, we have got the Blood Veil Pirates, and these also have got a rare item drop for you. That is these Moon Forged Daggers and the Moon Forge Dirk. So if you would like to grab them, they are also available and pretty much all the other drops are the same. A lot of the monsters across these maps have crossover items, so a lot of them are dropping the same sort of thing. So I won't show you every single monster, just the ones where the drops are changing slightly. We're now at the map Join Pirate Vampire, and that is to look at the boss drops available to you here. To be honest, there's not overly much you're really going to be coming along for, but you may fancy potentially getting yourself a new house guard, because I did think the house guard was looking really quite cool, so maybe that's something you might consider picking up. Our next map is one we actually went to when we did the recap talk like a party items, and that is going to be Join Sea King Korok. And once you're here, of course, there is this Grave Fang monster, and if you go through defeating Grave Fang, you can grab yourself the Blood Isle Corsair set. This one is looking really rather cool, so it could be worth grabbing. Sadly, however, it appears to be down as Legend Tags. The Blood Isle Tree Drop is also something you want to go along and grab. That is a rare item, so that will not be returning next year. Now we are over at Dash Join of Blood Isles. The map itself, and again, we have a few things to come across as we go through. First of all, there are these drowned monsters, and yes, there is a rare item within this list. It's actually the bottom three. You are going to be looking for the Undead Falcon items. Those are one of the daily drops we showed you right at the start of the video, so if you do like these, particularly the pet, make sure you come along and pick them up. There are also these kind of, I know what I call these, squid things. They drop these barrels, so if you want some barrels, that's where you can get them from. You never know, you might want to walk around with them. Next up, we're going to take a look at the item drops that Bonnie has, and yet again, there is something very important within this list. You will see right at the bottom is the Just a Little Trouble item. This is the surprise daily gift that Alina tweeted about, so if you would like a trouble, and to be honest, who doesn't want a trouble wearing a top hat, then that is where you need to go and grab it because it will not be in game for very long. You also have got Sea King Korok right here, and if you would like to defeat Sea King Korok, there's a few item drops, all AC tagged, that you're able to get. And then lastly, and certainly not least, was the final boss within this area. And as you can see, there's some more hair if you would like them, and a couple items that kind of go hand in hand with the merge shop. So, talking of merge shops, yes, once you have completed the latest event, we have got yet another item shop to have a little look through, and it is your typical merge style one. Some quite quirky items, and to be fair, you will 
will have to go to some of the previous maps that we have actually shown in the recap video. So if you've not had a chance to look at those recap videos yet, I'd fully recommend going along and watch them. I did one for Friday the 13th and one for Talk Like a Pirate Day, each of them featuring 20 plus maps that are currently back in game and available for everyone to go along to for a short period of time. If you haven't already, make sure you go along to Quibble's shop because within Quibble's shop, yes, there's lots of rare stuff that costs real life money. But there's always a few items within here that are for free players that you're able to go along and pick up. And that is the same with the feature gear. Just for anyone that never regularly checks it out, it's always worth a peek in here just so they do throw random bits and bobs in from time to time. Anyway, folks, as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do leave the video a like and, of course, subscribe. And I'll see you all again for another one incredibly soon. So until then, have a lovely day.